This month, 10 on your side is honoring Black History Month through our series, Road to Reconciliation, on Tuesdays and Fridays. Our Kara Dixon is highlighting communities across Virginia that are working toward telling stories, their stories that haven't always been told. She joins us now. Kara, tell us about your story for today. Regina, the College of William and Mary is one of the oldest higher learning institutes in the country. It educated many of the founding fathers, but didn't allow in women or black students until the 1900s. Now they're going through their own racial reconciliation journey to help heal ties with the community. Welcome to the city of Williamsburg, Virginia's colonial capital. Founded in 1638, Williamsburg was thriving and bustling both economically and politically for the 13 colonies. Strolling down these cobblestone streets is like walking back in time. And for thousands of students who attended the College of William and Mary next door, Colonial Williamsburg is their own ticket to the past. We weren't talking about it then. Um, you know, we, we, it wasn't something that was publicly spoken about. Um, you know, I took classes on the history of Williamsburg. We learned about slavery, but we did not learn about it at William & Mary. Dr. Sarah Thomas's love of history landed her here as an undergrad student at the university in 2004. Almost two decades later, she's a historian at the school working to uncover its deep racial past. People would say that you only could be on campus if, if you were African American if you had a broom in your hands. Um, so. We're working to make sure that everybody is welcome on campus and that they're an important part of, of the campus community. Founded in 1693 through a royal charter of King William III and Queen Mary II, the college is the second oldest institution of higher learning in the U.S. Nicknamed the alma mater of the nation, it contributed to the country's creation by educating presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, and John Tyler, as well as Supreme Court Justice John Marshall. The college is also home to the country's oldest law school, but the education William and Mary provided to those wealthy white men wasn't offered to women or students of color until the 1900s. Fast forward to today. Thomas works as the associate director of the Lemon Project, the college's own reconciliation journey aimed at learning more about those who contributed to the institution, but whose stories have gone untold for too long. I'm glad that it's happening. I'm glad that we're, you know, we're still doing this work. Um, in 2009, when the resolution was passed, it was a project that was going to happen for eight years. Um, so we didn't know um, at after that point if it was going to keep going. Obviously, we're not done with the research. <laughs> now that full story is up now on Wavy.com. You'll find out who the Lemon Project is named after and how this work is helping to heal the hurts of that past. Stay tuned. Wavy News at 10 at 6 starts now.